bring him to go upon the cross of Calvary. The anguish, the mental anguish he suffered was far beyond what we even can understand in the physical suffering. He counted it joy, believers. And he despised the shame. And what happened because of it? He sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Truly he is. Now look. The author says, look now, in verse 3, consider him. Look at him. Long to look at him. Who endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest you be wearied and faint in your minds. Believer, be looking and considering what Christ did. We need to be doing that. We're habits of we're, we're uh, animals that have habits of uh, forgetfulness. You know, like I was saved uh, approximately four years ago now. Many times I know I don't have that spark of understanding or joy or peace that came the moment I realized what my God has done for me. Consider Him, He says in verse three, and the contradiction of sinners against Himself. Least you be wearied and faint in your minds. Now, here's an exhortation for you in verse 4. You have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin, have you? I haven't. Do you count sin such an evil, corrupt thing that you'd resist to the shedding of blood? Our Lord did. And He didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve one bit of it. We did. We need to have a mind firmly rooted in resisting sin. But first, Christian, by faith, trust, confidence in what our God's done. We don't need to be burdened, as Paul said, of those things which are behind. Yet I leave them behind, he says. The victories, the failures, I leave them behind. But I, tre I press now toward the high call of Christ Jesus. For Christ's sake, in Hebrews 11, these men endured these afflictions, were tormented, were tortured. Paul counted it the highest privilege a Christian could have to suffer for Christ's sake. That's not suffering because I've disobeyed something. That's not suffering, as Romans says, because I've disobeyed the law. No, that's not a high calling. That's nothing to be counted worthy but to suffer for Christ's sake, to strive against sinfulness and sin, to resist to the, all that's within you by faith, trusting, believing, having confidence in our God. It's been a joy for me to look over this portion of Scripture and by no means do I have a handle on this. Each day, I have to sit back and realize that this outworking of the walk in Christ is always going to be by faith. Trusting, believing, stepping, moving. That's what Noah did. He moved with fear. Let's move with reverence. Let's move, Christians, in this life that we've been given in Christ so that we can glorify our God the way He wants us to. You see... You can know you're pleasing your God if you step out in faith. That's what Hebrews 11.6 says. Without faith, you can't please Him. You, you're not able to please Him. But with faith, you're pleasing Him. Each one who's called and who's in Christ, they may not feel that they're anything. And to realize the weakness principle by no means means to look down on yourself. That's not what I mean though. That's not what Paul meant. It means don't even look at yourself. You see? The idea of being humble is not to continually look down on yourself to the point where you're useless. No, just don't consider yourself. Consider Christ, the high calling of Christ, and step forth in faith. Let's close with prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for that which you have given us in your word. Our God, truly you tell us that all that's went before 
is for our witness and exhortation that we would be able to step forth now having such an example and our God we marvel at the example you've given us in your son the reality of a life that truly can be pleasing to you Father we pray now that you would take these portions of your word use only that which is of yourself and cause us to come a little more to an understanding of this life of faith our Father give us those eyes of faith that we may proceed in a direction that's in complete confidence of your control and then we may be able to prove the things which aren't seen. Thank you for the time we've been able to spend. We ask our Father that you'd